hot dog. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how I 3D modeled this low poly hot dog in SketchUp. And when I did the condiments, I learned a couple things myself. So stick around for those and uh, let's get into it. Usually in these videos, this is where we provide context. It's a hot dog. <laughs> so there's not too much context. It could be a veggie dog. Uh, I guess that's some context there, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get into the modeling part. I'll make a new file here. And then um, because I want that low poly like faceted look, um, I'm going to use polygons instead of circles for this. So I'll um, go to the polygon. Uh, 12S for 12 sides is good. And then uh, the left arrow key to lock it to the green axis. And uh, I will just make it a one inch uh, radius. And we can say goodbye to TomTom Tom for this. And I'll do Shift Z to uh, zoom just to the extents of our uh, of our polygon here. And I'll push pull this out six inches. Um, it's kind of bun like, uh, <laughs> but to make it a little more uh, like a bun, I'll select it all and then scale it down. Um, just squash it a little bit to make it a little bit more look like a bun. Uh, that's about right. And um, let's see, I'm going to make a couple of guides here just to help me out. So the tape measure tool, and then I'll make a guide from here, here across, here, and here. Um, and the first thing I'll do is make uh, from this kind of second to bottom endpoint here across to the middle, just up a bit and then down to the other side and then push this across to the back. Triple click all this to select it and then move it uh, with a copy. That's option on Mac. And then in the bottom here, you can see where the, uh, where the copy modifier is on Windows. Uh, and I'll just move it over four inches. Um, what I'm going to do is make a kind of a, a cutter uh, to to cut out the inside of this bun from the outside. Uh, what these guides do is just kind of make sure that stuff lines up so it's a little cleaner for the low poly look. Uh, so I'll go to the, the line tool here and go from this uh, vertex and just down and in a little bit and then straight down and kind of across a little bit and then down to this midpoint. Uh, from here, I can go edit, delete guides and then go ahead and select all these uh, different pieces here. And I'm going to go to the flip tool and again with that modifier to make a copy about the center. Um, Great. I'll push pull this all the way to the end just to get rid of it. And then I'm going to push these out some arbitrary amount doesn't matter because uh, this is the thing that we're going to be used to cut our bun. Um, so I'll triple click all that to select it and make it a group. That's fine. OK, um, now to make our bun a little bit more bun shaped, what I'm going to do is use push pull with the modifier key uh, option toggle create new starting face here uh, and I'm going to push this out a little bit <laughs> and then I'm going to scale it down um, and using the about center. I think the only modifier key I've used this entire time is option on Mac. I don't know what the Windows equivalent is, but um, staying consistent with the modifier keys here. And then I'll do that one more time. Same thing and scale it down there to make it it's kind of bunny, right? Um, okay, and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to the side here, delete this face. So when I did that push pull and create a new starting face, uh, it made it interior faces here. And it's just, we need to get rid of those. And then when you can see that geometry on the inside, that's how you know. Actually, I delete this back one too. Um, that there's no interior faces, which will be important for what we do uh, next. So I'll use a line just to close this up and then I'll navigate over here to the side of this bun shaped object 
and a left to right selection just to select only these pieces of the end. Um, and flip again uh, with the modifier about the center of this to make that over here. I will triple click all this and make that a group. And here in entity info, you can see that's a solid group. That's important. Um, because what we're going to do is take this piece, move it back four inches so it overlaps. And then I'm going to use uh, two different ways to do this. So solid tools is included in any paid version of SketchUp. And so uh, I'll show you how to use that first. So um, you can go to tools, solid tools, subtract. And then I'll select, I want to subtract this from this. And it just kind of cuts that right out from the middle of our bun. Okay, great. Um, but I'll back up and show that if you don't have the paid versions, this is how you would do that. So once I have those overlapping, I'm going to select both of these and hit explode. And then when everything's still selected here, I'll right click and say intersect faces with model. And that will create intersections at each of the pieces uh, where the faces overlapped. So there will be some cleanup here. Um, that solid tools, you know, kind of takes care of automatically, but we'll have to go in and delete the extra, the excess um, pieces here. So if I can just go down the barrel, I'll hit X for X-ray, just so I can try to see this and then select just this interior geometry to try to clean it up. And here, that. I mean, I knew hot dogs were messy, but not this kind of messy. You know, I thought it was more like the ketchup and stuff could get on your pants, cause some issues, but um, who would have known? I'll turn x-ray mode off, and you can see we end up with pretty much the same result. I'll actually right-click on uh, one of these white faces. So this, on the inside here, this is the interior face. So I will just... Uh, orient faces and then I can select all this and say make a group. Okay, nice. We have our bun. Um, now what I'll do is make the hot dog itself. So um, I'm going to draw a piece of uh, reference geometry just to make sure I hit the center here. From here over to here and again I'm going to use the polygon tool um, and I'm going to uh, hit the left arrow to do it on the green again. And one thing that's uh, important for what I'm about to do next is make sure that the um, you do the modifier key, the circumscribed is what I want um, to do the next operation. So make sure it's circumscribed, meaning that your uh, cursor is on that kind of the flat edge of that uh, polygon coming out. And we'll pull it out to, you know, I'm, it's not a huge hot dog. I want it to fit in the bun, but um, maybe here. And I can go ahead and delete that piece. I'll push this out. These are bun length, certainly, uh, and apparently very plump, but oh, that's the kind of hot dogs I like for sure. Um, so you have this uh, one here, and I'm gonna use uh, the pie tool to make the, the edge of this um, come in. So I'll actually delete this face right now. And then I will go to my pie tool and uh, hit 3S to make three sides. We're doing low poly after all. And I'm going to hover over the edge of this just to try to infer the center of that polygon and hit the up arrow to uh, start from the center on the blue axis and go click once to start and let's see 90 so that's good um, select that polygon itself and then i can go to the follow me tool and the polygon uh, let me just make sure there's no yep okay that should be all good and then um, I'm going to select all this hot dog geometry. You don't want really want loose geometry in your model. 
So I'll triple click to select all that, make that a group, and double click to go in. And then I'm gonna go view, uh, component edit, hide rest of model. Uh, so I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the, the edge of the bun. Uh, select the end, flip, make a copy, and there we have our hot dog. So uh, now I'm actually gonna select both of these uh, just to soften them. Make them look a little more um, appetizing. And I'm gonna navigate to the very top to do the ketchup and mustard. I'm gonna go to the freehand tool. And I don't know if I'm like you, but whenever I put ketchup and mustard on a hot dog, I want it to be like the nicest looking ketchup and mustard like I want this to be like, this could be on the front page of, you know, hot dog digest. <laughs> um, so anyways, I'll use the freehand tool and just go on the hot dog and draw as if I'm drawing with my nice um, uh, I was gonna say hot dog dispenser, uh, you know, bottle of ketchup. Oops. This is what I I always accidentally did. So, okay, let's back up. Do the freehand tool. We put our ketchup art on here. And then without backing out of the tool, what you're going to do is uh, look in this bottom corner and option minus is what it is on Mac. And if I do minus, uh, without backing out of the freehand tool and staying within the tool, it will reduce the number of segments. Um, it's low poly after all, so we want to reduce the number of segments. Um, so that's good. I'll go back into the select tool and I'll actually select that line itself because simplifying it kind of brought it inside the hot dog here, which is not what we want. So I'll select that line and actually make that a group. And then when I double click into that, you can actually see what we, what we drew here. So I'll come over to the side and it's low poly, but it's still on top of the hot dog. Great. Um, I'm gonna do a follow me to, to make the, the ketchup here. And one thing, if you're familiar with the follow me tool is that you want to have your shape follow the path at a perpendicular angle. And if I did do like a circle on this, you know, I could lock it to the green or the red or the blue, but it wouldn't really, definitely wouldn't be perpendicular to this. One way to, uh, to draw perpendicular is using the pi tool. Uh, this was my revelation when I was uh, practicing this video. So I'll actually make this five sides. And if you click and drag, and then go along that first segment of your, uh, your follow me path here, and then let go, and then um, draw, click once to start, and then say, uh, it's asking for an angle. So I'll do 360 degrees, which goes all the way around and then that will, you know, that's a little large. I'll actually scale that. Okay, so actually <laughs> I'm going to back up and do the same thing again. Click, drag, and I'll start it a little bit smaller. Look, I like a lot of ketchup, but not that much. 360, enter. And now um, then select my path. Follow me. Select the face, select all this, and uh, change this slider just so I do get that um, that faceted look here. And backing out. Um, okay, it's a little bit of trial and error. That was I had the ketchup going into the hot dog. So what I'm going to do actually is grab this, move it by the bottom and stick it right on the edge, because I know this is still perpendicular, which is good. Um, now when I select that, follow me and this, then it'll be on top of my hot dog in a low poly way, the whole way, and beautiful, everybody's happy. Um, I'm going to use the flip again with the copy, but just do it uh, without moving this, um, the plane just from the center here with the uh, modifier 
There we go. And let's get some materials on this thing to make it true hot dog status. It kind of looked like shoestring french fries. Maybe I should have done a little bit larger uh, ketchup and mustard, but you can do that later. So uh, mustard, great. Ketchup, yes. Hot dog, bingo. And bun, it's a nice light bun. Oh, I missed the, the ketchup one. Okay, there we go. We've got our hot dog. And I'll actually select all this and make it a group now. Keep all those pieces together. And um, let me pop over to this and put a hot dog on a plate here. So there you have it. It's ready. It's picnic time uh, here on the SketchUp YouTube channel. Yummy. Um, kind of fumbled my way through it there, but we got some some hot dogs made fresh off the grill for you. So uh, is there a different way you would do this? Let me know for sure. Um, would you like to see other grilled items <laughs> modeled or anything else uh, modeled here on one of these SketchUp videos? Please let us know in the comment. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. And um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.